and it looks like we are restarting perhaps to go live. I'm not entirely sure, but I think we're starting now since it seems that both teams are ready. I see eight players on Entente and eight players on Central. We will see uh, who gets uh, who gets the attack. Um, that, has been, <laughs> that has been an issue that we encountered today that was not uh, much of a problem yesterday. All the have funds coming out from everyone. Good lucks being wished. All the uh, all the good manners getting out of the way now uh, before these guys start claiming to have intercourse with each other's mothers. Yep, and it <laughs> and it looks like era uh, everyone is good, and we are live with the finals of the North American Verdun Championship PZ versus One E. PC straight away pushing along that right side of the trench, kind of along those trees in some good cover. One E spreading out to set up that defense. Chirpy and Emperor are going to be the first ones to face the brunt of the PC attack. Meeks pushing towards the middle of the map, going to be picking from there. Emperor getting some kills. Meeks and Papa Ulti as well. MJ taking out Zab. That's going to be big effect for 1E in this first exchange of fire. Both Sam squads uh, for PC seem to be uh, staying very close to one another. Uh, we haven't seen that. They seem to be more spread out in previous matches. Is that uh, more common with these uh, with these higher skilled players? Uh, definitely in the early parts of the round, PC do like to stick together. Uh, maybe in the later parts of the round, they'll spread out a little bit more. But Voltaire and Tyler getting a good foothold here. And spawns coming in for both teams. Meek's going to join Tyler and Voltaire, as well as spawning in Samnix and Comrade Bravo. But Chirpy and Zed are going to push in alongside Vetrix. Zab getting a double kill with his airplane bomb, though. Good placement there. And we've got a good foothold on this right side for PC. We've got Zab rushing up that left side pretty much by himself, uh, while the rest of PC holds up in the trench. Uh, PC yes. sticking hard to his picker roll. Something to note for the best of three series, this was PC's map pick, so this is the map they are feeling most confident on. Uh, one e after this have picked Ein, which we did see them play very well on yesterday, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And then the decider map, if we do go to it, will be Artois. But Emperor clearing out couple players who decided to push up to the top of that hill. 1E maintaining control of this hill. It's going to be hard for PC to capture the trench as long as that's the case. Kyle Zephyr missing a couple shots on Zed but gets the bayonet on him. Or Zab rather, not Zed. Easy we did just make. see MJ also win his duel with uh, with Zab and now lose his duel to, to Voltaire. It could be that uh, PC might be shifting more forces over to that side that they haven't paid much attention to. Although Zed uh, looking out from there uh, playing defense. Extremely strong play from both teams so far. Good aggression by PC and good job by 1E to shut it down. 1E, yeah, 1E with a great response there to clear him out on that far side. Sam Nix running into a wall of guns here. We'll see if he can take a couple with him. PC going to have to set up on the defense here as 1E push on. Nazaker going to keep playing on the no man's land. Hope to take out a few players. Not going to go too well for him. 1E with then, the early advantage here. And not really any super standout players as far as frags are going. Pretty much even across the board for both teams. But looks we like We actually Zed, have uh, Comrade Bravo with a total score of negative four at the moment. <laughs> Having a little bit of trouble there. Emperor doing well. Zed getting in here, spawning some of their team. They're going to be on this side of the trench. Zed playing very aggressive there. With that MP18 as well. Did he Zed take out three well or four? That. I think he took out th two two or three players there. And just absolutely clearing through the trench. Zab, the only one who can take him out there. Tyler going to take out Chirpy. And that's going to clear that trench of 1E players. But there's still a couple close and another spawn coming in across the map. Zephyr is in, but in trouble as well. Crazy play there from Zed, but not really enough 1E players in the trench to capitalize on it. Kyle Zephyr going to keep the foothold at the front of that finger. He's getting, yep, getting some support from Chirpy here. We'll see if some other 1E players can get there in time to give them enough support. But one, yo, oh, Zephyr goes down in the finger. And some gas gonna hit the middle of this trench. PC gonna have to get away from that quickly. Comrade Bravo with an excellent long range shot there. It can't be gonna come in here and face Nazaker. Zed gonna try and flank though. But it can't be he gets the kill before Zed has a chance to flank. He's going to go down to Voltaire, and Samnix flanking it can be out here in the no man's land. He's going to know that it can't be. He's going to that far left side, and he's going to get taken out. 
great play from both teams so far. Very little mistakes have been made. Meek's gonna go down to Emperor in that gas. Samnick's gonna be aware of his position though. Tyler holding it down with a double kill there, right in the middle of the gas. Now we're gonna be see a big push here on the right side, only Nazaker to stop MJ and Kyle's effort pushing over here. Tyler rotating though, and Zab getting a good angle on the hill to fire in that direction. PC maintaining a good defense there, uh, controlling this uh, this trench. Yeah, they had a little bit of trouble at the start with that push by Zed, but were able to recover very effectively. Chirpy now pushing in, going to try and hold that. He's going to want to get try and get a foothold, but he goes Tough down. Tough shot. Meeks made an excellent shot there. Yeah, Meeks very good at those quick shots. Filtrated bread holding up on his push to probably wait for some help from Kyle Zephyr and those right behind 1E, him. It looks like the column comes in from 1E to just set up defenses as MJ and Betrix fall back towards their trench. Filtrated bread going to push, see if he can't get a foothold, but the rest of the team deciding to fall back. Zed maybe going to play a little bit in No Man, see if he can pick, pick off some people with that MP18 at long range. Yeah, PC's attack really fizzled there towards the end. Or I should say 1E's attack really fizzled at the end there. Yeah, some good contention there, but PC just holding stalwart in their defense. Still a tie game uh, under the 20-minute mark in this match. Uh, really close so far. Yeah, really, really close. Uh, just a reminder, we are watching the Verdun at North American Championships on Twitch. Uh, we've got PC and 1E, two of the very best teams in the world. Uh, going head to head and going doing so very evenly. This is a close one. Now this may be the closest high level Verdun match we've ever had, and boy is it a good time to be a Verdun fan seeing a match like this. Uh, it can't be gonna have to face off against Papa Ulti and Meeks. Papa Ulti gonna get the kill. Good play by him. Emperor coming to try and face them, but alone he's gonna get taken out by Meeks. Great play by Meeks and Zab taking out players on the other flanks with Samnix pushing in. And Meek's going to try and push up on that hill, and if they can get control of that hill, this might be the the situation where that 1E has been dreading losing that hill. Red is in trouble here. He's just going to try and spawn in some of his squad, hold that position, but he's not able to spawn anyone in. Well, he does spawn an Emperor, but he goes down almost instantly. MJ is All able to take back the hill. That's going to be important. MJ, Trippy, and Zed pushing on that hill. Zab in a good position to contest them, though. MJ and Zed got the, have the height advantage, but... Uh, this fight seems to be shifting in PC's favor. Yes, it does. They're pro they're capping the trench right now, nearly about to cap at 80%. Samnick's going to have to fight a big spawn. He's going to go down, but they are going to cap the trench. But 1E e immediately going to be first in. point. Yeah, 1E e immediately going to be in on that right side. Papa Ulti flanking. Going to come up behind Emperor. And Emperor's going to take him down. Good play. Chirpy. Emperor and it can't be the only ones now left for 1E in the trench. Zab gonna push above uh, over Chirpy. Try and take him out. Bravo's gonna take out Chirpy though. Great play here from both teams. PC in the lead now, but 1E not out of it either. They're gonna wanna get tricks in a duel with Sam Nix here. That could be a big one. Oh, and Nazgur comes out of nowhere. When are you going to want to try and get a control of that hill at some point? They're kind of stuck on this far right side right now, but only Bravo left on that hill. PC reinforcements coming from the left side. MJ going to try and make a push on that hill, see if he can have some success there. Good grenades coming in, might take out Comrade Bravo, and they do, but Meek's going to start to move up to enforce with Papa Ulti, and he's going to go down uh, is MJ. Kills coming in faster than I can commentate. Good play from both teams. 1E controlling the right side, PC controlling the left. Still the hill controlled for PC, but not by a large number of players. Mainly just Meeks up there. Emperor making a uh, strong push up here on the high side. Uh, looks about like Papa we're going to see a con... Ooh, Ooh not anymore. Artillery Good artillery strike from Kyle Zephyr going to take out Papa Ulti. That, uh, is hiding, that hiding might be the that. push they need to retake this trench here. Yeah, there's a good chance they could retake this trench now. They have the numbers and they're about 80% capped. A few more seconds and they'll have it. Though, PC members piling into the trench to try and prevent this. 
Excellent shots from MJ here from the top of the hill. He's gonna go down to pop a ulti, but not before 1E cap the trench. And PC... Needs Tyler and Semnix getting close range here in the trench and winning their shots, their fights there. Semnix uh, transitioning over towards Filtrator Bread and it can't be. We'll see if he can get in the trench. Now this is a back and forth fight, but it does favor PC right now because as long as the back and forth fight is in 1E's trench, PC does have the advantage. As they're the ones who can put the pressure on and 1E are on the defensive. Even when 1E do control the trench, PC still wreaking havoc behind their lines. Chirpy. Zab with an excellent flank here, getting right behind Chirpy. But Chirpy able to take out Nazaker before going down. But that's the trench pretty much controlled by PC, except for this far right side, which seems to be the sort of base of operations for 1E in this trench so far in this match. And good kills from 1E, Vetrix and Emperor. Putting the pain uh, so down. So it looks like we just saw... Uh, a change in squads uh, from the Central Powers side from 1E. Uh, what do you think the uh, uh, the concept of the yeah? What, what do you think the motivation there was? Well, I think there's. I think Zed was wasn't really feeling very comfortable with that MP18. So I think they're going to switch to that uh, that Alpenjäger squad so they can have that double recon and get those lots of good spawns in and just get Zed in sort of his comfort zone of using that carbine. So we'll see how Zed does here now. Obviously not doing as well as he would like to be doing uh, so far. MJ yeah, doing Zed, well. The, uh, Zed, the, the, the uh, team leader in many ways, 4-1-E, uh, sitting at 13-15. and 15. Uh, Not a standout game so far. Though, to be fair, there's not really any super standout players. Papa Ulti, the only one really uh, moving ahead of the pack with 21 kills there. Meeks a little bit as well. On the uh, 1E side, we have MJ uh, and Vetrix looking looking to be the uh, sort of MVPs for their team. But 1E going to be spawning super far back. And PC with control of this hill might be able to take them out. But good picks there from Zed. Getting his rifle finally and feeling a little bit more comfortable with that. Trippy Another gonna point trade scored Emperor by there. PC there. Taking the lead uh, in this series. 1E though, fighting back. Going to try and retake this hill. But good play from Zab on here to keep back 1E. He's going to spawn in some more of his players. Meek's going to take on it. Can't be and wins that fight. PC going against Emperor and MJ. Going to take out Emperor. Fighting MJ now and take him out as well. Great play from Zab there. And now Vetrix, the only one up for 1E. He's going to spawn a few of his teammates, but now all of PC controlling this hill. Papa Ulti going to the right side to flank just in case there's any uh, stragglers from 1E coming in that direction. But I think PC have locked down these spawns from 1E, and it seems like PC having a good chance here to win the match. Chirpy making an aggressive charge here, pretty much by himself. We'll see if he can make it through. Not quite. Tyler takes Almost him down. Almost makes it through. Misses a shot on Tyler, though, and gets punished for it. Vetrix, though, in a good position, taking out Voltaire and MJ taking out Bravo. Though Vetrix will go down to the shot of Samnix. Zab still picking around, playing on the on the middle right side now, letting Tyler and Meeks take that hill position and Nazaker as well. Meeks going down to Chirpy. He's gonna not see Nazaker, and Nazaker will take him down. But Meeks going down as well, and Tyler. But they have one minute now, do one E to get into that PC held trench in order to continue the match. If they're unable to do that, the first half will go to PC. Uh, we just saw another squad uh, switch to uh, Lanzer. Uh, could you uh, let us know what uh, what what some of those specialties are in the Lanzer squad type? Well, they're going to get that artillery strike, and I imagine they'll be trying to drop that as quickly as possible on that hill. But of course, it does have to recharge once you switch. So I'm not even sure unless they can get a foothold over time. They're not even going to get a chance to use that uh, that ability. One of these squads seemingly showing some indecision in their squad choices here. Well, it's not too dangerous for them, for, switch, for them to switch squads when they're all dead because it doesn't really matter. It's not like they're losing any lives or anything, but... Oh, and they might get a chance in here using those grenades effectively. Comrade Bravo, though, going to take out a couple of players, and that's it. There's no way for 1E to get in here now, and that's going to be the first half 2-1 to one for PC. That a great is, back and uh, forth match, though, so far. PC really took over at the end there, but uh, 1E really showed that they're hanging with them. This is uh, this is this is going to continue to be a close one. I feel.
Well, and 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 one E should be happy with us. I was putting up that big of a fight on a map that is most certainly PC's home map. Um, not the most comfortable map for one E. So when they get onto Iron, if they ha can put a good showing in this match and a good showing in the second half, I think they'll feel confident going into Iron that they can force it to a third map. But they could still bring it back in this half. In fact, if they bring it back to either a tie or even a win on this map, that's got to be a big advantage for one E going into the second map. So we'll now give some the teams time to switch teams and organize their squads. We are uh, we're gonna have one more restart here before we're live on the uh, on the second half of the uh, first match of the North Verdun North American Verdun Championships. I will get it right <laughs> uh, <laughs> between Pest Control and One E, um, two of the very best teams in the world. Absolutely, and you got to say that Pulpa Ulti was the MVP of that first round. Just really getting a lot of kills there for PC. Zab, of course, playing... I think Zab had a little bit of trouble at the start, but warmed up near the end of the match there. And just absolutely was going ham there at the end. When he could get those long-range pickings in. But Pulpa Ulti showing very good skill in both the long-range picking game and the close quarters combat as well. So props to him for, for being the MVP of that first half. And PC indicating that they are ready now, just waiting on one need to sort out their squads and figure out what strategy and if and any changes they want to make for this second half on Vaj. Yeah, we are we are gonna have to see uh, if one E makes any further adjustments. We saw more than one uh, squad change. Uh, in that round, I don't. I don't believe PC changed uh, once, did they? No, they did not. Uh, so we'll we'll have to see um, what kind of adjustments One E makes, and if they actually stick with them this time. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, I understand they were in a bad situation, so trying things is a good idea. Um, so I understand why they were doing that, and and I kind of agreed with their switch to a recon squad. I wasn't sure about the switch to to the Lancer at the end, though those grenades almost did help them get a foothold. So it is kind of understandable. So it'll be interesting to see what they decide to do this round. Looks like they will be sticking with the Lancers for this uh, first half. Or rather, for the second, for the beginning of the second half. Hopefully, our, our sacrifices made earlier today will appease the Verdun gods and allow us to get uh, <laughs> the Entente to attack first. Uh, so, not not a big game from Zed there. Uh, uh, a, a good game from Emperor, uh, with Papa Alti really uh, really showing. Uh, showing the the depth uh, uh, that that this team has um, over on on PC. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, Papa Ulti, a very good player. He had to actually retire f for a year in order to do his Finnish military service. Um, so we haven't seen him for a while. So it's good to have him back playing in the competitive scene again. Of course, captaining Team Finland uh, for the ENC as well. Um, or maybe he's not captaining it, but he's definitely one of the, the stronger players on that team. Actually. I think it is core that is captaining that team, but he, he's playing for that team now. And, and it's good to see him back in the scene after, after his absence for, for the last couple of years. Definitely one of the, the more fun, uh, Verdun players to hang out in discord with and play a few games. So, <laughs> and, and also obviously extremely skilled, but looks like we may be getting into the match here if the Verdun gods decide that they would like the Entente to attack first. Oh Which it God. seems they have done. So How many uh, birds must I murder? <laughs> it does seem we are live now. So we will have one E on the All aggression. Right. Second half of the first round. Here we go, guys. Yeah, what sort of strategy? Uh, they're going to they're gonna send Chirpy straight out, and the rest of them are going to stop and try and pick. Chirpy may be yep. baiting a little bit for the rest of his team. We have Zab uh, playing, the, playing the role of picker, not really moving far from where they spawned. And it looks like they're sending one squad up that right side. A bit of a slower attack from 1E e than PC had. Uh, Chirpy strategy. getting really close to the to the 
uh, to the uh, to the trench here. This is actually uh, really without seeing any, any because, resistance because PCC is a bunch of 1E players picking, and they assume that no one is pushing, but Chirpy pushing alone, able to get behind their lines. And turning his back on Zab and Meeks uphill from him, he may not know where they are, but they won't be able to see him, and Zab's never going to expect Chirpy to come up here. And Chirpy's going to win that fight. With an aggressive Meeks, Meeks not rush expecting here. it either. Tyler oh. Tyler's going to make the tr trade there, but good play from Chirpy and Kyle Zephyr getting in on that left side, while the rest of 1E distract. Good play from 1E, sort of mind gaming PC a little bit there. Good play from them. Zed making his way into the trench and getting dropped immediately, but they are they are making progress here, dropping some of those PC players hold up in the trench. And only two of those PC players left, and MJ is going to make his way to the top of that hill. Oh, those he's going to have Zab to deal with real soon here. He's going to get sandwiched there, not in a good situation, taken out by Papa Ulti. While the rest of 1E hold this finger on the far left side. Chirpy in an interesting position, but might get taken out by Tyler here if he decides to peek, and he will. Voltaire setting up defense once again in that finger area, uh, and getting dropped by Zed. Zed making his way into a pretty much unchallenged portion of the trench right now. He could set up very nicely to get in some spawns. Most definitely, and sitting on that recon squad, he will be able to do so as well. Kyle Zephyr of leading that RD squad and just laying at the end of this trench, spawning in his team over and over, which is what he has to do in that NCO position and making sure he doesn't get picked off. Oh, we got Zab flanking Zed and it can't be an Emperor. One, two, takes, is Emperor going to be... Oh, no, he goes down. He gets executed for deserting for being outside for too long. Oh. Patrick's pushing up, going to take down Comrade Bravo. I didn't realize that's what dropped him. And interest how often are you are we gonna see a desertion kill in uh, in a competitive match? Well, players do like to go into that desertion zone a lot just to get some unexpected flanks off, especially players like Zab. Uh, you won't see it too often because usually they'll be able to get back into their trench in time. I believe it's like a five or six seconds you're allowed to be outside of the trench. So uh, good play from him. He takes down two players and goes down. So it, it's a good trade for him. Emperor Muskets. by himself right now in the trench, although just spawned Zed and it can't be. It can't be. Needs to provide some support here because they are once again outnumbered. But a little bit of an over-rotation here from PC going to allow Kyle Zephyr to get back into that left side and Trippy as well. And Kyle Zephyr is just going to stay at the end of that far left side and keep spawning in his team. And good artillery coming in from Kyle Zephyr as well, going to take out Comrade Bravo. Meeks managing to survive. Zab running headlong into it, spawning in it. He's not going to be happy about that. And good grenades coming in from MJ. Not quite going to take anyone out, but maybe slow down the PC. And 1E actually about to capture this trench. That's going to be a capture for 1E. Good play by them. That is going to uh, tie up the uh, first round here, 2-2, uh, two to two, uh, mm -hmm. with the first half uh, being resolved at 2-1 to one for PC. Uh, it would be uh, big at, at the very least for them to get a tie out of this. If they can get, if they can go up 2-0 on PC, that would be a huge advantage. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Because if they are able to prevent PC from recapping this trench, it'd be very interesting. It would be a tie. So PC it's gonna be is making quite a rush here, taking out more than a few players from 1E on both sides of the trench. Emperor taking one, gonna face Papa Ulti here. Good play from PC here, filtrated. Gonna get flanked by Nazakar, but Nazakar doesn't see him. Uh, we've got Zab set up in his uh, little sniper bay, top of that hill. Uh, it seems that's where a few players are settling down. He and Tyler, uh, as well as Papa Ulti up at the top of the, the ramp here. Yeah, Papa Ulti. And it seems PC are now starting to capture the trench, only with that one player in the trench for uh, 1E right now, which is Zed. And if he gets taken out... PC getting a little bit aggressive there when they were capturing. That's a bit of a mistake from them to push there. They really should have sat back and, and just let themselves capture the trench, rather than pushing so aggressively. But they still are going to capture the trench, though. That was a little bit of a risky play they made. 
tie game once again. PC able to take the uh, take the momentum back. Yeah, so tie in this half, and PC still up one in total. Good play from Zed there to push up that ramp and take out three players. Wow, great play from him. It might be Zed versus Zab here, but Zed flanks down and it's gonna go down to Comrade Bravo. Voltaire taking his spot at the top of that finger once again. And Chirpy again getting behind some players. Good artillery strike coming in from Kyle Zephyr. Gonna completely clear that right side, allow Chirpy to get in there. Fortunately, he's not gonna be able to spawn anyone. So he's not going to have to hold up there for a minute. And Zab seems to be aware of his position. It's going to be a tough fight for Chirpy to win, but he does win it. Wow, great shot from Chirpy there. Definitely did not have the advantage in that gunfight, but his aim prevails. Papa Zephyr also spawning in two on the far side. MJ and Zephyr going down. Filtrated Bread turning his back on Papa Ulti. Almost certainly going to go down here. Yep. But they are getting control on that right side thanks to that artillery strike from Kyle Zephyr and that entry that Chirpy was able to get by taking out Zab. And Emperor going to chase down Nazaker, going to be a kill for him. But PC spawning on that far left side, they're going to come in. Emperor's going to be aware of it. He's going to try and take them out here, but he's going to get taken down. And PC going to clear out the trench once more. Good play by them. Chirpy trying to salvage the uh, the rush here, hoping to get into the trench where it is once again unchallenged. And Chirpy just proving to be a very effective infiltrator for 1E, always able to find a way into that trench. And Comrade Bravo going to trade Nazaker there as he's taken out by Chirpy. But PC looking to have a strong hold on this trench for the first time in this half since the beginning. Hoping to maintain that for the next 45 seconds so that they can go on the offensive and lock down this match. A good defense here scores them a point, does it not? No, it does not. Defend it would, it would give attacking. them a... Yes, of course. It would give them a chance to attack and score another point by capping uh, by capping Winnie's Trench. A good airstrike here, or a good artillery strike from uh, Filtrated Bread. Kyle Zephyr, rather, calling that in. Yes, my mistake. Uh, yeah, Winnie. Emperor coming in on the flank here, gonna have to take out Comrade Bravo. Not a, not aware of, the, of his position, and he will be taken out. He had taken out the one player playing that position, but there were two. And Chirpy pushing in. Gonna take out Comrade Bravo. Good shot there from Chirpy. Papa Ulti in a big fight here. He's gonna just hide there. Chirpy runs straight past him. Chirpy on a rampage here. Oh, drops Papa three Ulti. at close range. Papa Ulti infiltrating. Gonna go down to it can't be though with the bayonet. We had we had two players doing the exact same thing uh, to the opposite team, just <laughs> running amok in the back lines there. Chirpy uh, still alive. Uh, the PC player was not lucky enough. That could prove to be a big shift in the fight for this trench. But you see, making a good comeback, maintaining control of that hill, spreading out. Pushing from lots of different angles, great, great attacks from PC. Really, you know, they're not sticking together, but they're sticking in positions where they can't support each other and get crossfires on their opponents. This is just the next level form of attacking that you don't really see from many other teams. And Emperor going on a rampage with his bayonet, getting two kills there. Chirpy gonna push up here, get taken down by Tyler, but a grenade goes in. Voltaire is gonna run away from that, and Tyler will go down. And the grenade does take out. Voltaire, that's a double kill for MJ. Excellent grenade from MJ there. And Papa Ulti now, the only one left in this trench. He will spawn Meeks and Zab, though. But it's going to be a good chance. At the cap there for 1E. Sitting at 75% now in their cap. One minute remaining in this defense phase. Uh, and 1E seems to have a pretty solid hold on this, on this, on this side of the trench. And they're going to get a cap. Great play from 1E there. Chirpy gonna push up. Two to one now, tie game again. As PC did have that two to one in the first half, but Zab sort of sitting behind enemy lines. Will we communicate? Chirpy never saw him. Where he is. Oof. Zab got right in the middle. There. 
but he does distract them enough that that allows Tyler to take down it can't be. Comrade Bravo getting executed for deserting they were trying to flank around but taking too long. Nazakur pushing in onto that hill. I have to take out three players, but Emperor will answer him. Sherpy looking in the absolute wrong direction as two players come up behind him, and Tyler will take him out. PC retaking that hill. That is a, a very important part of taking this uh, this trench. Absolutely. And good shots there from 1E as they spawn to clear out that hill and the trench. Though, PC probably going to get back to that hill right around the time that Zed does. Good position there from Zed. Just take Zed out doing plus. work with that carbine. Yeah, and really making up for his bit of a lackluster performance in that first half. Now top fragging on the server tied with Tyler. So Zed feeling a little bit more comfortable now, and it can't be. I'm gonna take out some more players. And Tyler Taking out some more players and spawning in some of his team on that right side. What a back and forth match! And there's an airplane bomb to take out Comrade Bravo from Emperor, and he gets followed Zed headshot on Nazakur. Zed aggressive charge here too. He's One E might be taking this half of the might be taking this half of the uh, of the trench here, which be a, which would be a big advantage uh, if they can start getting on top of those spawns over there. Papa Ulti fighting Vetrix, but Vetrix decides to move position. He's going to help Zab take out Emperor. Chirpy takes out Voltaire. Looks like the numbers in favor of 1E at this point, but more players spawning in for PC. MJ running into a two-on-one here. Not doing too bad for himself in that situation either. He took one to with him, we'll Tyler. see. He, he wins it. Down. They are climbing that hill once again. Zed taking on Zab here in an epic fight. Zed does win that, and he's going to take out Meeks as well. That's control of the hill for 1E. Zed does go down to Voltaire in the end from the flank, but hill control for 1E. Hill will not want to give up that position. MJ, the only one up there, though. Kyle's after oh. spawning in more players. Those players definitely want to push onto the hill now. He gives up that position as more PC players spawn in behind him. Big mistake. PC are probably going to be able to... Well, it's going to be Zed to face them. Bread coming in shortly behind him. Zed going to take out Bravo. Change positions. Take out Zab as he comes in. Meeks gets the trade. It's down to Bread. Bread kills Meeks. Former teammates, now enemies. Filtrated uh, Bread. Bread takes that out way. two there. Great play by Bread there to rush control of that hill, but Papa Ulti still on that right side of the hill. Zephyr lying patiently, uh, just trying to maintain that foothold. Uh, probably looking for a spawn here any second. Yeah, he's playing that NCO for their artillery squad, so just trying to hold and get those spawns and, and defend his safe positions. But he's, he's going to find himself three on rushing him right now. Yeah, he's going to find himself on the front line in a moment. Luckily, he spawns in his team just in time, but two of them will go down, and a third as well. And that's going to be that spawn almost entirely wiped by Zab and Comrade Bravo. Vetrix getting in behind Zab, but Papa Ulti going to pay his respects to Zab by defending him. Wow. And that's yeah, going to that, be the trench for PC. <laughs> They're going to recap this. PC really wiped him out there. What a great back and forth match, though. Yeah. They're going to see that spawn Papa Ulti instantly flicking over there. Going Ooh, for the Vetrix picks. making a charge. Not in time. Good kills by MJ, though, and that's the cap for PC. 1E. Try and make a comeback now. And recap it again. Uh, if you're not keeping up so far, we did finish that first half 2-1 to one in favor of PC, so that means that 1E in this half needs to win uh, by a, an advantage of at least one in order to tie things up, and then it would go to, um, it, we would move into the second game uh, if necessary. Well, we would move into the third game later on. Yes, most definitely, and if it, and if it finally came down to it and we had multiple ties, we would have to go to kills for each map. Uh, but we wouldn't do that immediately as obviously the future maps could go in a one-sided direction. But Filtrated Bread, Papa Ulti going to walk straight past him. But Nazakar and Tyler are now going to be aware of his position and they're going to take him out. And that is the last foothold for the time being of 1E in that trench. So PC 
hoping to set up a, a strong defense here and make sure that when he can't get back in. Chirpy seems to be leading the charge here uh, pretty often. Is that Would you say that's, uh, that's uh, telling of, uh, of his overall style of play? Is Chirpy yeah, a rather aggressive I mean, player? He's definitely an aggressive player and a sly player at that, always finding, finding good ways to get into that trench and get behind p people and take them out. So good play from him so far. Not exactly a positive scorecard for him right now, but that kind of comes with the territory of that style of play. You're going to die a lot, but when you have successes, they're going to be big successes and they're going to help your team out a lot. But looks like one he having success on this right side now just down to Nazakar. He's going to take out two in Vetrix versus Nazakar now. And Vetrix doesn't seem entirely aware of Nazakar's position, which will spell doom for him. And a push on the right side by one e, MJ, and Kyle Zephyr. Kyle Zephyr again playing very passive, just trying to spawn in his teammates as close to that trench as he can. And some nades coming in from MJ. Good nades too. Comrade Bravo aware of it. Backs off. But allows MJ to sending push their forces all the way to Kyle, uh, yeah, over on Kyle Zephyr's side over here, um, leaving Voltaire and Nazaker all by themselves. We'll see if uh, one E is able to actually recognize that and make a push on the opposite side while they're a little vulnerable. I'm not too worried though. Voltaire still being useful, getting a crossfire across the map, not getting any kills, but putting pressure on that one E side. Pop ulti in a good position as well, picking those players off. It can't be in Vetrix close to this. Front, but they get taken out by that airplane bomb from well, two airplane bombs from Zab and Comrade Bravo on the same spot. Take those out, and now Zed, really the only one on this left side, gets taken out by Zab. And it's going to be MJ and Chirpy pushing, and it's going to be the rest of the team setting up for defense as PC push on the attack. Time is running out for 1E here, they're going to need to uh. Make this defense and cap that thing quick. Most definitely, most definitely. Vetrix fighting right now from this position. I'll try and stem back the attack of PC. And MJ. Now. But okay, Vetrix has gone down. Ooh, Zed, Zed, is a, Zed is aware of Voltaire's position. He's going to push out and try and take him out. He's aware that he's out there, and he does take him out. He's going to get back into that trench in time not to get killed. But the left side, pretty open. And when he's trench, he's not able to capitalize on it right now, though, as they have known over there. But Zed gets... definitely seems like uh, a bit more of an aggressive player than Zab. Zab uh, prefers uh, to, to be a bit more in the background, uh, playing more as a picker, although Zed does have those skills. I definitely seem to be uh, noticing him more uh, close range in the fight, in the trenches. Now, he definitely is a player who, who kind of acts as, acts as a hybrid and, and picks when it's necessary, but is, isn't afraid to get in as, as a very aggressive player. Zab knows that players on his team are, are, are more aggressive than him and, and lets them fill that role. Uh, but Zed, Zed's more the type of player who's just going to play however he feels like playing. Uh, a little bit less of a team player. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though. Is he's the type of player who you can just let off the leash and let him do whatever you want. It's, and it'll usually end up being a positive for your team. And PC trying to make a push here for this middle finger. Five minutes left in the half. If they could get a cap here, they'd be very happy with that. Still winning right now, but I'm sure they'd like to win by more. Give them a little bit more confidence going into that second map. 1E e has has taken that trench twice now. Um, they, uh, they could be uh, at an advantage if they can make this defense. They got 45 seconds remaining in that defense. If they can make a push, uh, at, the round, uh, round ends in about, uh, I believe, three minutes. Yes, and I, I have to yeah. admit, this is probably the best defense we've seen from 1E all match so far. Very good from them, very good spread, getting lots of angles, making sure none of the PC players get into that trench. Only one or two of them have gotten into the trench this entire attack phase. Zab getting close now, though. He's going to go up against Emperor and Vetrix, though, two worthy opponents for him. Papa Ulti at his back, and Tyler as well. Tyler getting aggressive, pushing up on Vetrix here, going to take him out. Emperor is going to be worried about that while he has Papa Ulti and Zab pushing up on him. Oh, he's going to take out Zab and Tyler. Good play from him. Papa Ulti going to try and get a foothold here in the last couple of seconds. You're going to see Melee him Melee kill from Emperor there. That was uh, that was quite a big play there. And Ulti going to get the spawn in here at the last second. They can keep that foothold over time if they 
just maintain this. And Comrade Bravo and Nazakar and Voltaire pushing in on the other side as well. Great last minute clutch play there from Papa Ulti to spawn in his team there. MJ is getting pinched between a couple squads. Samix coming up as well. Gonna take out MJ. Actually, that's Papa Ulti. And that's a great play from PC. They were in a dire straits there. Very much looked like one E's defense was gonna hold and they were gonna get another chance to attack, but PC making sure to ensure that when you don't get a chance to tie up the half, uh, the half or rather tie up the match, because the half is already tied up. The PC Zab can leading here. the charge here to uh, to clear and goes down to Zed. Great uh, we do here. have Zab as top frags right now at 37 and 20. Um, we do have Papa Ulti at 31 and 16, as well as Nazakar at 33. Um, uh, both higher Emperor, and higher those numbers keep getting. Both Emperor and Zed sitting at over 30 kills for 1E as well. And Meeks now, the foothold overtime holder. 1E should be aware of this, that only one PC member is alive and they should be pushing very aggressively to take him out. Four more players can spawn, but there comes the PC spawn, Papa Ulti, Zab, and Tyler. That is a strong group of players. And Meeks going on the aggression. Gonna fight, gonna not be able to take out Emperor. Tyler will go down to Zed. Papa Emperor Ulti with a Zab. charge on Papa Ulti here. Papa Oof, Ulti goes down that to fight, Ulti. Though. Peek -a -boo. here comes Papa Ulti taking you out. PC Ooh, gonna maintain uh, two this for one point. by Tyler. Yeah, PC seems to be um, working damn hard to hold on to this foothold. We'll see if, uh, if they can maintain it. Uh, they are reaching that kill limit. They're getting close to 45. Yeah, at which point they will be given that extra time. But only two minutes left. They're going to be pretty happy. They know that they've won this match now. They're going to be very difficult. Even if when you get rid of this foothold, they're going to have a very limited amount of time to make that push. And now Zav, the only one up. All of 1E should be pushing it in his direction. But he's going to spawn that powerful squad once again. Tyler's going to be taken down first. Now Meeks versus Vetrix. Meeks wins that fight. Zed versus Meeks. No, six, no, no real fight there. PC playing very passive. They know they just need to burn down the time. They don't really care about getting a cap or getting those kills. As long as they're in this trench, maintaining that foothold over time, they're happy. Of course, only six more kills for them before they're basically insured. Not to have to worry. 1E is going to have to get creative here to retake that side of the trench. We do see Vectrix over here uh, making a charge on Zab, although I don't think he knows where Zab is. Oh, and he turns his back on him. This could be bad for 1E. PC just maintaining that, waiting for the rest of his teammates to get in before he does anything too aggressive. The rest of his teammates are in. He's going to push. Vectrix now becomes aware of his position. But is Zab aware of Vetrick's position? No, he's not, but he spawns Papa, Papa Ulti in just before he dies to maintain that foothold over time. Very lucky from Zab there, and Papa Ulti gonna maintain it. And they do get that extra momentum time, which means it's pretty much guaranteed that PC will win this with a 4-3 to three score line. Just as the uh, as 1E clears him out over there. That was a clutch play by Zab. And his teammate to uh, to hold the hold the foothold as long as they possibly could on that side. Through an airstrike, through uh, through more than a few rushes, uh, it got really close there. And now, with only 30 seconds left to tie up the match, I don't think it's going to be possible for one need to do that, especially with PC just setting up along their trench and a defensive line. They know that's what they have to prevent, and that they don't have to prevent it for very long. So they're going to have a lot of confidence going into the last seconds of this match, knowing that they pretty much guaranteed themselves this first map and the best of three series. PC looking to go up 1-0 here, guys. Yeah, and that's going to be it. They're going to win this map 4-3 and go up 1-0 in the best of three series for the North American Verdun Championships Grand Finals title. Match. What a back and forth game, Soren. Did that did that uh, did that align with what you were expecting from these two yeah, that top was notch teams? That was definitely the match that we were all excited for, and I can't wait to see map two. Of course, we'll be going to Ein, which is sort of uh, one E's specialty map and their home map. We'll see if they can put up a bit of a better performance. Maybe force this into a map three 
by defeating PC on that map. It should be interesting to see. Though it's it's not a map that PC are bad at either. It's certainly something they're going to be comfortable playing. It did seem like in that first half, uh, the 1E team did have a few underperformers. Zed, of course, being the most noticeable. Um, do you think uh, those guys came out and, and played a little more to their potential in that second half? Yes, definitely. I think, uh, obviously, PC or... PC, yes, getting to play a match earlier today, and one he did not, meaning that the PC players might be a little bit more warmed up and ready to go, but one he players may be taking a little bit more time with it. It looks like we are going to be hopping straight into the next map uh, of Ayn.